To obtain good fruit production, you need to assure good pollination of your fruit trees. Most fruit trees need to be pollinated by another variety of the same fruit type for good yields, even the self-pollinating ones. That is easy to achieve if you have lots of trees of different varieties that flower at the same time. But what can you do if you have a limited space and only one tree of each fruit type? You can graft a compatible pollinator in one of your tree branches. Start by selecting a compatible pollinator for your variety. This is King of Pippins or Reine de Renette. Select the science best suited to the grafting technique you are going to use. Wrap the upper part of the science in parafilm to protect them from dehydration. Cut the branch at the desired height. Level the graft base with a second cut. I will be using the modified cleft graft since the cyan and rootstock branch have different diameters. Very gently, with a rocking motion, make a slot near the edge of the branch. Take your time. If you apply too much and controlled pressure, the knife will slip and cut too deep. The slot in the rootstock branch should be shorter then the cut in the cyan. Tie the graft using rubber strips, elastic tape or other material that you prefer. Here I am using natural raffia, slightly wet. Start from above and apply some pressure as you go along to secure the graft and to assure a good contact. The graft area should be well covered or the graft will fail. I tend to use parafilm to cover it, but you can use electrical tape or other materials. I am grafting in May and the weather is already quite warm. So protecting the graft from direct sun in the first couple of weeks is essential. Since this variety is also a very good quality apple, I will graft a second branch. This will assure a more effective cross-pollination and also more apples of this variety.
Unlike the normal cleft graft, you don't need to perfectly align the cambiums. I simply like to skew the science slightly, so it crosses the cambium of the rootstock on one side of the slot. Even if the scion is placed in the center of the slot, the small exterior bottom cut ensures a good cambium contact. The graft can also be protected with pruning mastic. Just be sure to cover any entering point so the product doesn't enter the graft or it will fail. In about two weeks, I will open the aluminium foil and will remove it if the buds are starting to break the parafilm. Two branches of this tree were grafted using the same technique. The parafilm tends to biodegrade, but I usually remove it as it is no longer needed. In this shot, it's clear the importance of the small exterior narrow cut in establishing a good cambium contact. The exterior layer of the rootstock plays no part in this type of graft. It dries out and it will fall off on its own, or you can remove it if you like. Some fruit varieties are not self-pollinating, and so you won't have any fruits unless you have another different variety to cross-pollinate. Even fruit varieties that are self-pollinating will produce better with another variety nearby. With most fruit types, you can search a list of varieties and the usual flowering dates of each one. These pollination groups, as they are usually called, join varieties that tend to flower in the same date in the same pollination group. So, if you want to choose the best pollinator for an existing variety, try to graft another variety of the same pollination group. Avoid using closely related cultivars, as these don't cross-pollinate so well. In apple commercial orchards, crab apple pollinators are used, as they have extended bloom periods and produce lots of pollen. In home orchards, it's best to use another good eating variety. This way, the pollination job will be assured and you will also have another good variety to eat. 
Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share and comment to support the channel. Click the bell to receive notifications of new videos.